All right, it wouldn't be Jameson video without some thrifting find, I think. So check this guy out. I went thrifting today. It's um, it's Black Friday here and the thrift shop had 50% off everything. And this um, reindeer was marked $1.99. So for a dollar, I got this guy. And I just thought he is too cool to not make a little simple plate to go in here uh, for the holidays. And I got a show coming up this week, so I figured no time like the present. Let's get making. So I have this mold. Um, let's see if it's marked what it says. I can't read anything. Um, uh, let's see. It's really hard to read. I think it is... Well, something ceramics. I, I can't read it. 2015. Um, <clears throat> but it is just a little bottomless mold to make a plate. So I thought that is about the perfect size for this. So I'm going to make a little plate that will have, um, you know, a little bit of an indentation in there to just kind of keep it uh, from moving around too much in there. I think it'll be fun. You could use this as a drop uh, and put a drop vessel in and make more of a dish. And you could elevate this on posts to do a drop to get it a little bit closer or to get you know something that would that would fit down in there um let me flip this over and show you so the whole size is a little bit different see but i think i'm just going to do it as kind of a fun little plate and i'm contemplating doing some gold accents because now i have some uh gold <clears throat> this hang on just a moment pardon my reach uh, this Hanovia uh, Liquid Bright Gold, uh, which isn't available anymore. Uh, fun tip, I think it was Valerie Adams that said to glue it to a piece uh, of scrap so that you don't knock that tiny little bottle over. So that's what I've done. Uh, but I've been playing with this video to come, but I thought something like that could be cool to do on an accent piece. So this, I'm thinking through it. I don't know exactly what I'm going to make, but I'm going to make something. So stay tuned to figure out what it is. All right, so I have my blank. I'm gonna play around a little bit with some of this Hanovia gold. I'm just going to do some freestyle uh, drawings on here, um, and then we'll fire it and see what happens. This is not intended to be a how-to on the gold. I'm still not sure that I know how to use it very well, so if anybody's watching this and has some tips, feel free to drop them in the comments. I would absolutely take some. Uh, but I'm just gonna kind of play around with this. I've got a fan going, this stuff stinks and it's fuming quite a bit. So I've got a fan going to kind of uh, keep air circulating and um, here we go. here's this piece. Um, I'm not delighted with the gold work. I think I need more practice with this, um, but I do think that it's kind of fun. I also, my free handing is probably just not the best, but I'm learning and uh, not bad. So again, here's this, you know, one dollar piece, and um, I think that looks really cool. It's, um, you know, it sits in there well enough. It's not going to not gonna go flying out. Um, a deeper slump would be pretty cool um, as well, but uh, here you go. So you can kind of see how it fits there on the bottom. Overall, I'm pretty pleased for a one dollar reindeer and a little bit of glass and a little bit of gold. I'm pleased with this. I'll take it to my show and we'll see how it does. All right, hope everybody enjoyed this. Uh, again, I'm gonna keep playing with the gold. I may do an all out video at some point in the future, but if you've got ideas or tips for me in using that, I would always, always take them from you. Thanks everybody, bye-bye. <laughs>